Welcome back to our SketchUp Online. Um, we're going to take a look at one of the early American colonial architectural styles in the salt box house. Um, this house is going to be a three bedroom, three bathroom, around a 2,000 square foot house. Um, it's going to split up in a couple different projects or a couple different um, parts. Uh, this first part, we're going to work on the the floor plan, um, get that all squared away. Um, then we're going to bring up the walls. In the next part, we'll work on the second floor, uh, work on that. Th then we'll bring in the roof, and then we'll start doing some interior design. Um, and we're going to do quite a bit of interior design with this one, uh, bringing in all those materials and things from a 3D warehouse. Um, so let's go ahead and create our simple template feet and inches. Let's go ahead and save this one as SO salt box. Okay, so we're going to save that. Um, Again, we're using our mouse as all of the sh keyboard shortcuts. So instead of over here using our orbit and pan and zoom and everything like that, we're going to press the middle scroll wheel to bring up the orbit, m press the middle scroll wheel, and hold down the shift key in order to pan back and forth. We're going to hit the letter M on your keyboard to bring up the move tool. And we're going to move this guy over here to the off to the side so that he's off the, out of the way but yet we can still use him as sort of a quick reference to the size. Um, next we're going to bring up the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a 60 foot by 60 foot square. I'm going to right click, reverse faces, then I'm going to click three times to ensure that my entire square is selected, right click, and I'm just going to make this a group. I'm then going to go in here and right click and lock it. Okay, Locking it turns it red, so you can see how it changed from blue to red. This makes it to where um, we're not able to do anything. So if I click on the move to cool, you'll see that it comes up with that no sign. Um, it, I'm not allowed to do kind of anything with this. Okay. Um, so the, and th this is, creates our base layer so we can kind of build on it. Um, and it just makes things a little bit easier and it allows us to make sure that um, what we're putting putting down is is what most likely it's going it's going to be and it's what what we expect it to be um, again this is a three bedroom three bath house it's a two floor um, salt box tile house um, the base size of it is 40 by 31 feet so we're going to measure that out using the tape measure I'm going to go up 10 feet And I'm going to go over 10 feet from here. I'm going to go over 40 feet and I'm going to go up 31 feet so that we have our rectangle. And I do this way instead of bringing in a rectangle and measuring out simply because I find it just it's easier um, doing it this way. Um, that's just the way the way I, I tend to do it. I think it's faster and and it requires less figuring out for me. So again, I'm connecting dots. So we have our rectangle. Um, I can actually just delete these lines. Um, I don't need them there anymore. Um, for our exterior walls, again, we're going to use the offset tool. Make sure that we're going in um, with our copy of the rectangle. We're going to go six inches. Uh, 
Um, all over into your walls will be four inches. The exterior wall will be six inches. Okay. Um, we're going to lay out some of our measurements here. So we don't have too many walls um, in this building. Our first wall will be 13 foot 9 inches. Um, we do have, because of the way this building is, everything is symmetric. The doors, the very entry door is in the center. That's the way it will always be. Um, and then we have windows on each side um, on both of the ground floor and the top floor and all that is symmetric. Okay. Um, so we know the front entry is here. We'll go three feet. So a foot and a half on one side, a foot and a half on the other. Let's document where that front entry is. This line right here is going to be where the stairs are. So this is where the left side of the stairs are. Um, so you can see we have about four feet there, which is kind of what we, what we need. So if we go from here over four inches, that's going to be where a wall is right here. And our stairs will be over here. So we can go from here. We'll go four feet, four inches over there. Next, over here, we have this right here is going to be a mud room, and then the rest of the, all of this right here is going to be the master master bedroom suite with with the the bedroom, the walk-in closet, and a bathroom. Um, so it's going to be easier to document kind of where the mud room is going to be at, and from here we're going to go. 11 and a half feet. We'll go on this side four inches. And then the rest of this is going to be the master bedroom suite. And we'll kind of cover that one later on. And we'll kind of split that all up. Right here, I'm using the rectangle tool in order to just cl kind of close off everything. Right here, I'm not too worried. It's, it's, it, the steps aren't going to go down that far. Um, and roughly, that is going to be it. Um, the steps probably won't be up here too far. Um, but this is going to be the kitchen. We all have a dining room right here. Um, and we'll have this large great room and our entryway right here. Okay, um, so that's going to be kind of the layout. Um, we'll, we will have a, um, a chimney over here and a fireplace. So that's going to be a design element that we will add in. Um, we'll have a, a back door, a back patio, and a deck over here. A, a side deck going out of the mudroom on this left side here. Um, and then windows throughout. Uh, key thing to remember on, on this project is that it is two floors up in the front. However, the back around the center goes back to where it's only on the first floor back here in the very back. Um, so that's kind of the, the style of this house. Um, let's finish this up by creating, let's going over 10 feet and we'll go over four inches right here again well with inches we only need to type in just the regular number um we don't have to put in any kind of apostrophes or anything like that for inches that's the default number default measurements um so that's all we need is just the number so we'll type in four and that's going to be closing off our mudroom so we can clean up our lines Okay. Um, again, I'm not too worried about about the um, the steps right now. Um, 
and the master bedroom suite. We'll kind of cover that um, and we'll incorporate that later on. Um, that'll be a project um, for you all at a later point. Let's go ahead and save this project. Next, let's go ahead and make sure that we document our sizes, uh, getting ready to make sure we, we turn this in. So again, our sizes was 40 foot by 31 foot. Right here, make sure that we're documenting the, the right stuff. So something along those lines, um, just make sure that we're able to see everything. Okay. At this point, you'll come in here, you'll export PNG file. Make sure that we can see all of our numbers and everything. Okay. Um, I, I don't like the way that looks. So let's go ahead and change this by clicking on your model information, the text. Let's change it to slashes and let's change it to that you can do either over or under and then update that makes it a little bit more clear close that up we'll save it and then let's export that png file this is what we will put into our you'll save this and you'll export this and then you will upload that into our project, um, into our Google Slides project, okay? And that's, and that's what we're gonna turn in as we go, okay? Um, thank you for watching this part. Um, stay tuned for the uh, next part, which we will bring up our walls, uh, turn th everything into groups, uh, actually components, and uh, start working on the second floor.